Fred Ricciani of TSC Gaming here with some Xbox Game Pass news. EA Play is coming to Game Pass Ultimate. EA Play is Electronic Arts' subscription service, which features a number of games. It includes all their archive games, or most of them anyway, from years past, as well as 10-hour trials of some new games as well, such as Madden 21 and EA Sports UFC 4, and down the road, of course, NHL 21 and FIFA 21. Now, if you're currently an EA Play subscriber or are thinking about just subscribing to this particular service with EA Play previously and still currently, you can get a subscription for $5 a month or $30 for a year, which is a hell of a deal. But now that's going to be integrated for every Xbox Game Pass Ultimate membership. If you have Game Pass Ultimate, which allows you to play over 100 titles on PC, Xbox One, and soon Xbox Series S and X. You can access EA games such as NHL 20, Rocket Arena, UC4, Madden, and all these other ones that I currently have installed on my Xbox right now. Now, from my understand, if you just want to have EA Play on your respective console, whether it be PS4 or Xbox One or just the Xbox Series X or S, you can still do that, which, like I said, $5 a month or $30 for a year. But if you want Game Pass Ultimate with all the perks, that's $15 per month, that gives you access to over 100 titles on PC, on Xbox One, on the new Xbox consoles, plus EA games, plus Bethesda games, you can expect that dropping November 10th, according to Microsoft themselves. So November 10th is the date. Also, as far as Bethesda goes, they confirmed that Doom Eternal is coming to Xbox Game Pass on October 1st and for PC in 2020 later this year. And obviously, we only got a couple months left, so probably around Thanksgiving holiday time there. They're also saying that Starfield will be coming up as well on Game Pass. So a lot to look forward to if you're a Game Pass member. I believe they still have the $1 for your first month deal. So I would try it if you haven't tried Game Pass before. And maybe try it once EA is integrated there and see how it works. Actually, I should mention too that Games of Gold does come with Ultimate. So with Ultimate, Game Pass Ultimate, you get Live Gold, which means Games of Gold that you can play online, EA Play, and now all Bethesda games, or at least whatever they'll make available within the next few months. So, And I should note too, if you have Game Pass Ultimate, you also get xCloud, which allows you to stream games on your phone, select mobile devices, of course. I believe mostly Androids and Microsoft tablets at the moment, but it's still rolling out. Hell of a deal. EA Play, Bethesda games, all the current Game Pass games, first-party titles at launch, some third-party titles at launch, and oh yeah, xCloud. Not bad at all, but I want to hear from you, though. Are you going to be picking up Game Pass Ultimate? Does this sway you to get a Series S or X? Are you confused with the Xbox branding like I am? Let me know. Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this update, like, share. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications for more updates like this. And until next time, as always, enjoy the games.